had a um, homecoming this week out here in Atlanta. There's a lot of people out here, but uh, I'm not going to go to this event. I got something tied up for me tomorrow. I'm going to go and entertain, but um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. Some of these events up here in Georgia, I don't like going to. And y'all gonna be like, she racist as fuck. Y'all can say what y'all want. I don't feel comfortable around a lot of these up here in Georgia. And it's kind of difficult to talk to them because they're talking like, for some of them, the majority of the ones I've met, they talk to you like you're inferior or you're beneath them. And I just can't deal. Like, when I want to talk to someone like this, I don't want to have to act like I'm, you know, hi, how are you doing? Thank you. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I'm a major. And I don't do any of that. I, I just want to be me. And it's like, I feel weird because I would like to go out and mingle. I would love, I said a hundred times, I want to make some white friends. You know, I really want to hang out with some cool ass white people and really have a sincere ass, real ass friendship. And it ain't like I don't get out to try. It's that these motherfuckers up here is, is um, they cut different, man. They, they cut real different. Even when I went to Mississippi, and I stayed in Mississippi for a little while, I met some white people at the beach, you know, and then I met some people at the uh, pool as well, at the condo I was staying at. And just talking to some of them, it's like you have to put on a persona of, of a proper, proper speech and proper dictation of how to talk so that you can sound like you're qualified to even speak to them. That's just me. I think for me, I would possibly be able to be friends better with the uh, Caucasian race of those who speak, you know, like me, so I can be more comfortable with them. But then some people be like, maybe you need to be around the other ones that speak, you know, not like how you speak, so that you can, you know, broaden your horizon and you can, you know, possibly be introduced to something more. I, I, I hear that. And I can understand that. But I won't be comfortable. It'll be like putting a stud in a dress. I, I won't be comfortable. Because I, I need to be like the churches when they say, come as you are. That's how I need to be. I need to be, as, be able to come as I am and meet people. And I know that you're probably like, well, maybe they feel the same way towards you. Maybe they need to feel that they can come and, and, you know, be as they are and meet with you. And that's cool. As long as I feel as if I can talk with you and hold a conversation with you and not have to feel as if you're talking down on me or as if I'm inferior to you, those subjects could be good. And as long as you don't start talking and using words that try to make me feel dumb or either when I express myself in a way that you're not uh, familiar with, that you don't like it. Now, they were brought up in the hood and not in the suburbs, but they was like brought up in the hood or, you know, grown, possibly, you know, brown black kids or possibly, you know, by racial somewhere in there. I could deal. I could have fun. I could, I could, you know, get to know. What you doing? I see you. You're on top of it all. On top of the trends. Yeah, I have a little bit of road rage behind me because it would have made me miss the light waiting on him. I don't like the road rage though. But it makes me feel like I don't have patience. When I do have patience, it's just that. I hate that I can't see what's going on in front of me, so therefore it makes me feel like they're trying to slow down just because I like to be on lanes where it's just me, ain't nobody in front of me. In case you wonder where I'm going, I'm headed to club because about to get me some uh, barrier seasoning again. Since we had a good time with it last week. I thought I'd come back and, you know, we get some more and make it again. I'm going to get some cheese and some meat. And if you're going to have like a chicken pasta dish tonight, some pasta cook up some sun-dried tomatoes and some other herbs to go inside the um, pasta sauce. So we can have a good little, little meal.
future for all Americans. Join in these me, ads about so Trump and Kamala and who to vote for. for I, don't, I, don't, I can't vote for nobody, right? Not authorized by any I can't vote for no candidate that's running right now because they're not on the stuff I'm on and they're not going to run and throw any ballots or anything, you know, so that we can vote on subjects and topics that I really would like to have voted on. Like, like I said before, we need to have votes that we can vote on to say no to robotics, no to androids. Like, you know, if we're going to have them, have their own little district, you know? And I know again, this is gonna be another race, race, racist comment, but we need to have segregation when it's gonna come to these robots because I don't trust them. Just like a bunch of white people didn't trust black folk, they thought they was evil. That's the same way I'm gonna be looking at these goddamn robots. That same perception, that same persona, that same mentality. Y'all thought we was evil. You lock your damn, uh, lock your, 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 your doors at night. And when you're in the car, you see a black person come by. You hit the lock on the door so the door can be locked. And you grab your purse and shit. That's the same energy I'm gonna get these robots. Cause I do not trust them. Come on up in here. Siberia, y'all. It's on Siberia. I think, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get off for one. Cause, yeah, why not? <laughs> Alright, so now I need to get the meat. We got the, um, what do we got? We got the taco shells, I mean the tortilla, the corn tortilla shells. We got the cilantro, we got onions, so I just got to get some meat and some stuff for the pasta tonight that we gonna eat. Um, still need to find some sun-dried tomatoes too. Okay. Hi beautiful. Hi. Hi. Hello. We have a whole bunch mm, of let's see. I think we need to get some beef brisket. And, yeah. My son said he wanted some cheese last time to go in it. Y'all know what type of cheese go in beer you? I don't know the cheese that go in beer you. Because I just used the... Uh, the Cheddar cheese last time. What cheese going to bury you? Let me look that up. 